In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Alphonic, the software that we recommend to just about every single podcaster. So here at Buzzsprout, we're always looking for new tools, techniques, strategies that are gonna help you be set up for success because you don't have 10, 20, 30 hours a week to devote to your podcast. You need something that works and something that's gonna give you a pro level podcast. And a tool that we use here at Buzzsprout and that we find ourselves recommending to just about everybody is Alphonic. Now Alphonic is an online software that you can use to optimize your podcast audio. You can think of Alphonic like the magic wand feature in iPhones where you click this one button and like magic, it makes your photos look better. Alphonic does that to your audio. It uses algorithms to analyze your episode and then tweak it to get really great results. So what I'm gonna do is jump into my computer, show you how easy it is to use Alphonic to optimize your audio, and then show you what settings that we use for our podcasts. So once you set up your Alphonic account, this is what the home screen looks like. You can see your previous productions that you have run through Alphonic, and then this nice shiny red button at the top for when you need to start something new. So let's go ahead and press that so you can see what it's like to actually use Alphonic to process your audio. So this is the screen where you're going to tell Alphonic how you want it to process your audio, what you want it to do with it. So the first step is to choose your file, choose the audio file that you want Alphonic to edit. And so we're gonna choose this bonus episode of Podcasting in Real Life that we're gonna run through Alphonic. So you'll see a lot of different fields down here. And there are a couple that uh, we use that I recommend that you use. And then there are some that don't really do a lot for you. So for instance, you can have Alphonic put your intro and your outro at the front and the back of your episode, but I don't recommend it. I recommend you doing that in your audio editing software, just so you have the full scope of the episode before you put it into Alphonic. You don't need this basic metadata fields. These are things that you're going to input when you upload your podcast episode to Buzzsprout, or if you're not on Buzzsprout, your podcast host. Same thing with extended metadata and chapter marks. Now, the next field that you'll want to change is the output files. So this is the file that Alphonic is going to deliver to you after they've done processing it. And so what I like to do is change this format to wave 16 bits. You can think of this as like high definition audio, whereas MP3 is slightly compressed. And I like to keep all of my audio files as waves for as long as possible. So I don't lose any of the resolution in the audio quality. For bit rate, you just have one option and it's totally fine. Wave is your ending. And then last but not least, I like to select this mono checkbox. Unless you're doing left to right pans with music or sound effects, you don't really need stereo. And if you have a Buzzsprout podcast and you don't have the extra add-on to include stereo, then you'll want to put mono here. Speech recognition we don't need. Publishing external services we don't need. Audio algorithms. So this is where the magic happens with Alphonic. And there's several different things that you can customize that you can do. As you can see, I'm just going to walk you through the ones that we use. The first one is Adaptive Leveler. And what that's going to do is it's going to average out and even out all the different audio inputs and tracks that you have in your episode. So if your theme music is a little bit too loud or one person is talking softer than the other person, Alphonic will analyze your audio and make them all sound the same, which is a really, really great feature. Now, the other thing you want to use is loudness normalization. So loudness normalization is going to set your entire episode's audio at the right volume level, all right? And so you definitely want this checked. Uh, and over here for loudness target, it has it automatically set to minus 16 LUFS, all right? And that is the standard for stereo podcast audio files. But if you're using a mono file like we are, you actually want to select minus 19 LUFS. And that's just because of the way that we perceive stereo mixes versus mono mixes. The mono is actually going to be louder when it comes out on the other side. And so you want to lower it to minus 19 LUFS to get the same effect. Another thing that we like to use is filtering, which applies a high pass filter 
to your audio, essentially all the super low frequency background noises, it will identify and filter out just to clean up your audio a little bit more. And then if you're in an environment where you have a lot of noise or hum in the background, you can toggle this on and off and Alphonic will identify those things and try to reduce them. This feature works. It's not super smart. I would highly recommend that instead of relying on this, you simply uh, treat your recording environment so you have a better audio going in. But if you're stuck and you need something that's going to take the, the noise out of the background, this can work for you. And if you toggle this on, you can tell Alphonic how much you want it to reduce the noise and hum. And typically you just leave that on auto, but we don't really need it, so we're going to toggle this off. And that's it. Just upload your file, make sure that you have wave and mono as your output file, and then check the audio algorithms that you want Alphonic to run. And then you hit start production. It's going to tell you that you have so many credits and uh, that after your audio file is done, it'll let you know when it's done. So we're going to hit start so Alphonic can process our audio. All right, and now you can see that Alphonic has processed our audio file. It shows us the waveform so we can see the different audio levels, and it even color codes different segments. So for instance, this is uh, two people talking. This is theme music. So you can even see the breakdown that way. Uh, for showing stats, we can see the loudness that we had on our input file and that Alphonic did change it to negative 19 LUFS. A bunch of other stuff, uh, details if you are interested. And then also, it shows you what your input file looked like. So here you can see that we had a lot more variation in the speech, and so Alphonic was able to normalize that and make it sound more consistent over the course of the entire episode. So now all you have to do is hit download, and you have a great audio file that you can upload to Buzzsprout for your podcast. Now there's one other feature that I want to talk about with Alphonic that is going to save you even more time than you're already saving by using that, and that is setting up a preset. So if I were to go over here to presets, you can see we already have one set up for our podcast audio, and that's all the settings that I went through and did manually just now. But when you figure out how you want Alphonic to process all of your episodes, you can create that as a preset. And then when you go into production and hit new production, you just toggle on the preset you want, and it automatically changes everything for you. Look at that. It's, it really can't get that much easier. So you just choose your preset, upload your file, and hit start, and then Alphonic takes it from there. So as amazing as Alphonic is, there's one thing that you should probably be aware of when you're using it, just so you have the right expectations. And that is that Alphonic is not great at fades. So when you taper off your theme music as you bring in your narration portion, or if you're fading in and out between sequences, Alphonic has a tendency to chop those up, to make them feel just too jarring. And so if you spend a lot of time perfecting those fades, making all the audio sound amazing, Alphonic is not going to be helpful for you. But if that's not a problem for you, if you don't spend hours trying to tweak every little bit of audio, and you just need something that works that's gonna do a great job at optimizing your audio so it sounds great to your listeners, then Alphonic is a great solution. When you're first getting started, you can use Alphonic for free and upload two hours of podcast episodes every single month. When you've decided that it's a tool that you want in your arsenal that you're going to use week in and week out, they have several different ways that you can purchase credits or processing time. And just depending on what your needs are, you choose the one that's right for you. That's it for today. I'm really curious if you are going to start using Alphonic in your podcast production workflow. Just leave a comment below this video to let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you do. Every week we put out new gear review videos, podcast strategy videos, and tutorial walkthroughs like this one. So if you're looking to improve your podcast and become a more well-rounded podcaster, make sure you subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, keep podcasting.